creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a new video, depending on the option that you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links, you guessed it, in the description box below. So what do I have going on for you for today? Today, I am bringing to you a Walmart, not a craft haul, but a decor haul. That's what I said, decor. Walmart's got some amazing decor right now, and I am obsessed with it. Right now, I'm in the midst of finishing up my craft room, reorganizing it so I can show you all, because I don't want you all to see what a mess it is right now and how unorganized I am, because I've just kind of been moving things from the garage and my old craft space in here, trying to get it out of the main living areas of the house. And now I'm just in the midst of really just trying to figure out how I want to organize everything. And I am almost done in this video and tour is coming to you really soon. But I'm also in the midst of kind of redoing my kitchen. It's been, I think, 17 years since I've redone my kitchen. Since I moved in, I've never redone it. And I feel like I'm getting that itch of wanting to change things up a bit because it's all just been here for so long. It could be me. Maybe a lot of us are like that, but I kind of want to switch it up and look at something a bit different. And so when I saw some of the things at Walmart and my new favorite finds that are at Walmart, I just couldn't resist them. And I tell you, when I say this is a decor haul, this is a decor haul. This is like the mother load of decor hauls that I can't wait to share with you. So I'm gonna quit my gabbin. Let's jump into it. Let me show you some of the great new finds that I found at Walmart. And maybe you like something in there and you can head to your Walmart and pick it up. Let's get to it. Yep. I am starting off with one of my favorite pieces. Okay, if I'm being honest, all the pieces in today's decor haul from Walmart are really ranked up there. I am so excited about all my new finds. Look at this adorable truck and it's got this cute little green butterfly. This was with the spring decor, but I feel like this is something that could totally be left out year round. If you wanted to put candy in it, you could. If you wanted to put a candle back there, you could. Yeah, this just was calling my name and had to be bought to put in my craft room. Oh my word, I don't think I'm gonna have enough room in this craft room for all the fun things that I found. Yeah, would you take a look at this mirror? Absolutely gorgeous. This was, I wanna say $13. The truck was $9.98. This, I want to say, was $12.98. I picked up three of these because I'm going to put them above the closet in here, which is my craft room. I thought that these were perfect. It is so rustic. I love the corrugated metal on here. It just screams everything that I want this room to be. How adorable is this mat? It is not holiday related. It's the red truck. I love it. It's by Mainstays and I paid $3.98 for this. If I'm being honest, I'm not much of a floral person, but, and this is a big but, I have never been a floral person, but I am obsessed with the Pioneer Woman line of everything that she has now. I think it is so country, farmhouse, chic. It just screams so many things that I love and it's actually got color in it, which is so not like me. She's got a whole new line of stuff out that I just found this week that I had to share with you because I am slowly redoing my kitchen and I am going to be incorporating a bunch of her decor. And so I found these baskets. How cute is this with the chalkboard front? This was $7.98 a basket. I didn't mind paying for it. It comes with a chalk in there to write on it. How fun is that? Got it in red. Yep. And teal. And had to have it in yellow. I had to have this as well. And just by looking at it, you can tell why I had to have it. 
It's a clipboard to hold recipes or whatever. And what's great about this, when you flip it over, it has the stand on the back. Oh my word, I love this. This is perfect for my office. If you wanted to hang it up, you could hang it up. There's a hanger here. But I just thought this is so perfect because when I am doing paper crafting, or a lot of my videos that I do talking in, I like to put my notes up here and have it in front of me where the camera isn't showing. And so, yeah, this is just gonna be so pleasant to look at. It's gonna make filming a whole lot more fun. And this piece here, $7.98. I'm gonna say that's not bad. I don't mind paying that for this. I just can't, who doesn't love an alarm clock like this? And I couldn't just get one because I needed one for my kitchen and one for my craft room. Oh my word, I love these. They are battery operated. They're not very heavy duty at all, but they are amazing. And these, I want to say I paid, oh, these were a bit more. These were $13 a piece. Yeah, enough said. Would you look at this hanger? It's got the knobs. We're still wearing masks where I live. And so I thought this would be perfect in my laundry room to hang up our masks and we each get a knob. And this was 1044. I thought that this would be a fun piece just to put something in, but I think this is gonna look really cute up on top of my cabinets where all my decor is that I'm switching out and maybe put some fake flowers coming out of it. Ooh, love that. I have a searchlight cookbook of my mom's and it is super super old and it is something that i like to keep out and it's just gonna bend on a metal easel forever when i saw this i just thought wow this would be perfect to put her searchlight cookbook on have it open to one of the recipes and have it displayed in my kitchen and so yeah this was a must and this was 1998. this year i am really trying out more new recipes and cooking more. And so I want to keep my recipes because some of them the kids really like and so I want them to be able to have access to them forever. And so when I saw that Pioneer Woman had this adorable recipe box and inside comes these adorable recipe cards that I just, yeah, I can't stand it. Love it. It's a fair amount too. And she's got refills that you can buy. I just thought I have to have that. I think this is perfect little box to put all my favorite recipes in and the kids will, will definitely know where they're at. And this can be a piece that is just kind of handed down. How fun would that be? You know, however many years from now when I'm no longer and the kids still have this box and have my writing on the recipe cards. I just love the idea of that. Picked up these fun decor pieces. I just love them. They are just these wall decor plaques that have fun recipes on them. This one is for strawberry shortcake. And again, this is all the Pioneer Woman stuff. And I love how she has all her dishes in here. She is genius. She's amazing. And so I love this. And I am so not a blue person. So I don't know why I bought this. I might change the frame color and repaint it and make it white because it is a bit bright but I just love the idea of it and uh, this spicy cowgirl it's got cold brew coffee loved that whipped cream topping how fun is that it's just got some fun cute little pictures with recipes and how much were these I want to say that these were $8.48 and so these two are going up on the top of my cabinet enough said right i didn't know i loved red and color so much until i saw this i love this drawer oh my goodness there's two of them I, how cute is that i i don't want to keep repeating myself but i can't help it and i want to say that this drawer set was twenty dollars was it yep 1998 this too is going up on top of my cabinets. And I think what I'll do is I might have this one open just a bit or not, maybe open this one all the way and put maybe some recipe cards coming out of it or something. There's gonna be something in there with the drawer open on top of my cabinet. Maybe some spoons, wood spoons, or I think I really like the recipe card idea and then um, I might have kind of a rolling pin next to it as well.
This has got to be my new favorite appliance. I I'm almost thinking that if I could do my washer and dryer in this and my coffee maker, I probably would. And Pioneer Woman probably isn't too far away from doing that. Wowzers, I love this. It just kind of has that retro 50s look to it. Yeah, we opened this because I couldn't wait to get it out of the box and actually see it and touch it. Oh, how fun is this toaster oven by her? So when I said I loved her stuff, I wasn't kidding. This paper towel holder is adorable. I had a stainless steel one before that I spray painted with Rust-Oleum's textured paint and it got replaced with this. I just love this crystal knob on the top. She has a kettle too. Seriously, it doesn't stop here. It really doesn't. I am all about hot tea and my international French vanilla instant coffee. And so I, I do love Starbucks, but I love the French vanilla international coffee. It's like a cappuccino. Oh my goodness, it is so good. There is no sugar needed. It's just the perfect cappuccino ever. And so Kayla likes to make her oatmeal water with this. I like to make my coffee and tea. Like a good kettle just makes all that stuff fun to make. For those of you who drink tea, this is something I think you'll appreciate. Or even those of you who don't and you just make coffee and you use a spoon, how awesome is this? I have one of these by my nightstand in my bedroom because I drink my chamomile sleepy time tea before I go to bed. And I have one of these in the kitchen to put my tea bag on. These are huge canisters and I got these online because they didn't have them in the store. I went to the store looking for them after I saw them online, they didn't have them. So I went ahead and ordered them. They have three different colors. They have it in the red, the teal and the yellow. And they've got three different sizes for each. And so they have a large, a medium and a small. And so I just went with three of the larges to replace my other canisters that I had for coffee, sugar, flour. And so I got three of these larger ones as well. And again, these were online. And this one was, I wanna say 14.98. In my kitchen, I have an elevated bar area with bar stools. And that's typically where the kids will sit and eat while I'm cooking dinner. And um, I like to keep fresh flowers on there. And so although this is a pitcher for drinking, I did pick it up because I thought that it was the perfect container or vase for my sunflowers and all my flowers to put it in. And so yeah, I am loving this. And this was, I wanna say 1998 as well, was it? Yeah, it was, it was 1998. Again, this is one of those things in my life that I've never had a good one of, and that's a cutting board. I've always had a plastic one. And um, although those are great, my stepmom Kathleen is all about good cutting boards and I've just never gotten one. And when I saw this, I absolutely loved this. And it's gonna hurt to even use it because I don't wanna ruin it, it's so nice. But I guess I'll just use this side and uh, we'll save this side for the decorative side for when it is out on my kitchen countertop. How nice is that? Almost forgot, along with that larger one, I did get this smaller one and thought that this was perfect to use. It's got the backside as well that I can use. And this is fun just for cutting a, a quick tomato to go in your sandwich or something instead of pulling out the big one. Growing up, my mom always had a bread box. Always, always, always. Did she use it for bread? No, she didn't. But she always had one. And when I saw this, it totally took me back to my childhood. And I would love to know where my mom's bread box is now because I remember it so vividly. And I just remember it in every house that we ever lived in. And yeah, it, it, good memories. It's just one of those pieces that just kind of warms your heart and puts a smile on your face. And so when I saw this one, was it something I needed? Again, none of this stuff is, but this was one of those things that I thought, I really, I want that because it reminds me of my mom. And so it is a nice bread box, again, by the Pioneer Woman, loving this. 
Would you look at this season rack? Yep, six of them in here. How fun is that? I couldn't wait to fill it up with the seasons that I use. And this just really makes it convenient. It's right by my stove and so when I need a season instead of opening up the cabin, like that's a lot of work, right? <laughs> it just makes it more convenient to pull it out and it's right there by the stove. Love that. Yeah, I just, I love these. I replaced my dishes as well. I had had the same dishes I want to say for over 20 years. And so many of us do. You know, dishes typically are one of those things that maybe some never replace. My mom never did. And, um, but I wanted to. I had had them forever. They are the only dishes I remember ever having. I don't know that I ever had a set before them. And so when I saw these dishes, I just knew that since I had the whole set already, I needed to get them. But I did two different sets because I love just the idea of having two different colors. It is from the same line. This is called her vintage line. Everything that I bought is from her vintage line. She has a few different lines of flowers, but I really like the vintage ones the best, and I couldn't decide if I liked the teal or the red more, and so I just said, heck, I'm gonna go with a box of each because I like eight place settings, not just four, and plus when there's five in your family, you need to get an extra one anyway. And so, um, yeah, I did a box of the red and a box of the blue. Here is the dinner plate. And this was a bit different. The salad plates were both quite a bit different. When I saw the red one, I was expecting that the teal one was gonna be the same because the dinner plates were, and it wasn't. But that's okay, I still really like it. It still has the same shape plate. This set, her vintage set, came with four dinner plates, four salad plates, and four bowls in each set. And so these bowls, can I tell you, are huge. They are really big bowls, they're very deep. Love those. I just love this new set. Can you tell? I ordered the mugs online. Yeah, this is a huge mug. Have you ever seen a mug this big? I ordered the mugs online because the dinner plates didn't come with mugs. And so I bought two boxes of mugs so I would have eight mugs because I had eight plates. You can't have it off. And when these came, they were gigantic. <laughs> I didn't mean to buy mugs that were this big. Are they cool? They totally are. I think if I drank this much coffee in one setting, I would be more just wound up in my videos than I already am. But this is still a really cool mug and I love it. And again, these are sold separate from the dishes and these are the vintage mugs. And lastly, because I love coffee so much, I have never had a K cup holder like this. And so why not? When you see that, how do you not complete the set? And so this is perfect to put my uh, Keurig on top of and hide this beautifulness, but that's okay because now I have this cool setup for my K cups. And again, it's got that crystal knob that I just love. Did I say that was last but not least? It wasn't. These quilted placemats that are the vintage one as well. And yeah, these I just love. Yep, so I got, how many did I get? One, two, three, four, five, six of them. Yep, oh yeah, six, because that's how many chairs are at my kitchen table. Who doesn't need a good dish towel? And when Pioneer Woman has a set of four for $10, which is, what is that, $2.50 a piece? I I'm not gonna say that's bad. When it matches and it's the theme of everything, gotta pick up a set of those. Four pack, love those. And on my oven, I like to hang towels. I've had this set before and it got stained. And so when I saw that they had it in again, I just love hanging some fun towels like this from my oven handle. And so this cute, uh, what is that, a cow or a sheep? No, that's a sheep. And then the cute bird in there. I'm sure you all have seen this in the past, but I was just really glad that I was able to find another set. And this set was already 
up there because I loved it so much. And so this was the set that I just took off my oven right now. This embroidered home sweet home with the embroidered flowers by her and this fun coordinating one as well. Kayla thought it'd be fun to play a scary game at night. So if you're interested in being scared and seeing how she reacted to this new game, you can find the link to this week's video or today's video, I should say, in the description box below. I'm gonna say it's probably safe to say that I like the Pioneer Woman. Yep. What do you think? I definitely think it's safe to say that. My word. When I say I'm obsessed with her stuff, I really am. And I know that it seems like a lot of stuff and it might be overkill, but I've got a pretty big kitchen and everything is pretty well spaced out. And so I really just kind of, like I said, I've never been a flower person, but I love her stuff. I love it and it makes me want to make my kitchen that. Let me tell you though, that's the only room in the house that's going to be like that because the rest is going to stay rustic and farmhouse. But I want to say that her stuff, even though it's vintage, I feel like it's got that country chic farmhouse feel that I absolutely love and I just love her altogether anyway. And so I love supporting what she does and what she creates and I hope she continues creating more because I love it. I need a coffee pot. She needs to make a coffee pot. I have the kettle, but I need a Keurig that looks just like everything else because why not? I hope you all enjoyed my Walmart decor haul and all of the great items that I found for my craft room and my kitchen. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let's get this video to, you guessed it, 5,000 likes please. Because like I always say, each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you do leave mm -hmm, down below, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, stay positive, please, and bye for now, everybody. Mm -hmm.